Hi guys and welcome to another technical tutorial on using chip. In this installment we're going to talk about running one of my favorite programming languages JavaScript on chip. Now my favorite runtime environment or in fact pretty much the de facto runtime environment these days for JavaScript on a server is Node.js. Now Node.js is a runtime that provides a JavaScript environment and we launch it by typing in Node. So we come over here and we type in Node and oh no! No Node. And what that means is that Node is not predefined, pre-installed on our chip devices. So one of our first things to do will be to figure out how to install Node on our chip. Now the good news is it's pretty easy. If we go to the Node.js website and uh, from here we can go to other downloads and under binaries we've got down here additional platforms our ARM version 7 Node.js installation and that's what we want. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy the address onto the clipboard and now in my node, com uh, I'm sorry, my chip command line I'm going to go up to slash temp, I'm going to make a directory called node, I'm going to change into node and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to download the uh, URL, whoops, I'm now going to download the URL that we saved into our clipboard or didn't save into our clipboard. Let me try that again. Copy the address, wget, paste, there we go, and now it's downloading the Node.js executables. So we look and see what that generated for us. That generated for us a compressed tar file. So I want to extract that with tar minus xvf and then the, the name of the file that we just downloaded and what that will do is that extracts the contents of the uh, node binaries, node being our JavaScript runtime, that extracts them to here and we now have a directory like this. Uh, we change into that directory there is our root of our installable parts and finally we copy it into the right place with a copy recursive everything to slash user slash local. Now make sure you get this right otherwise you put things everywhere in your file system so make sure you're in the right directory where the node binaries have been uncompressed to and run this command to copy it into user local. We run that command, it whirs and it clicks for a little bit and it cooks and it cooks and it cooks and when done if we now go to user local bin we will find that we have our node and npm commands. To validate that everything has been installed, run node-v, it'll come back with the release of node that's installed, and also npm-v to list the installed version of npm, the node package manager. And that's it. If we now run node, we're put into a node command shell to where I can do JavaScript-like things, such as hello world. If we run that, and it says hello world. So now we can go forth and write our JavaScript or Node.js based applications, place that code in files, run it with Node, install our NPM packages and we're off to the races running JavaScript applications under Node.js on our chip. And that's what I wanted to show you. So I hope that was useful to you. And thanks again and looking forward to making more tutorials in the future. Bye for now.